Hi, I'm Jed, and today I want to share with you one of Utah's most bizarre citizens. Kind of a local celebrity is a better way to put it. Walking around the streets just like you or I, yet living an existence that is entirely different than anybody I have ever seen. And that man is none other than Tony Johns. Ooh, you're out of here, baby. Just got my perm. We up out of here, baby. I'm like, run. <laughs> like that ass so. <clears throat> nah, it's like, you know, me and my, uh, you know, sugar mama, we got back together. You know, and she, I love older women. You know, she's in her 40s and she's drive dead gorgeous. But it's like, woo, <laughs> we up out of here. One of the funniest things to me about him is not just that he always has a spray tan, like his signature look, but that he gets the darkest shade imaginable. I didn't even know that shade existed. It's like Donald Trump. People always call Donald Trump a Cheeto. Well, if he's a Cheeto, Tony Johns is a talkie. Yeah. How does he even order that shade? It's salons. It's like a secret, a secret menu item. He goes in, he walks into the salon and there's like, oh, hey, Tony, back again, twice in one day. And he's just like, Dead ass, need topped off. Woo! And they're like, hey, what shade do you want? We have one through seven. And he's like, I don't I don't mess with that, no. Give me the uh Mars dust. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play this next clip for you. This is a personal favorite of mine because of the way he says Bud Light. Just here, here for yourself. You gotta keep your girls tucked in. These girls, the bolas, are all tucked in, baby dead ass. Ooh, -hoo. I got a little sixer. Ooh, sixer of bolas. Mm -hmm. We up out of here. Let's do it. <laughs> a sixer, a bolas. Imagine him trying to order a beer at a bar. Imagine that nightmare. Yeah, what can I get for you? Bolas. Mm -hmm. We up out of here. Let's do it. <laughs> so one thing I really have to give Tony credit for is his ability to make these incredible and touching and believable apology videos. It's Oscar worthy apology videos. I've seen YouTubers do it. They always do it wrong. And each one of them can learn from Tony Johns. Watch this. You know, I've done some bad things in my life, you know, but everybody makes mistakes. Already incredible. You see how he's using such a seductive and stylistic way of talking? I've done a lot of bad things in my life, but everybody makes mistakes. But everybody makes mistakes. It's so seductive. I was feeling seduced. I was like, whoa, Tony, my face started heating up. My loins on fire. Suddenly, I can't even remember what he's apologizing for. Jeez, moving on. See, and I've, you know, conned a lot of people or whatever, right? Oh, that's why he's apologizing. He conned a lot of people, whatever, right? Do you see how he says conned a lot of people, whatever, right? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. To say I conned a lot of people and then to say whatever, right? Immediately reduces the fact that he conned people down so much. It's almost as though it's just nothing. It's like he cut someone off in traffic. He's caught a lot of people, whatever, right? You know, I murdered a lot of people, whatever, right? See, it works for everything. It's amazing. From the bottom of my heart, you know, like I'm sorry to, you know, the people that, you know, I've done that to or whatever. Oh my God. Just when you think it can't get any more amazing, the man pops his collar mid apology. He's watching his own apology in his reflection in his phone, and he thinks to himself, damn, this would be way more impactful if only my collar were up. <laughs> there we go. The people that, you know, I've done that to or whatever, you know, like seriously. So on to the next clip. This one, he's in the bathroom, he's super drunk, and he's singing beautifully. And in this moment, you're going to see just a little dose of the type of positivity that Tony Johns brings to the world. Here we go. Oh my. 
I love cock pimps, dog. I got them off on seven inches. No, I do. Well, when it's soft, it's like soft. But when it's hard, it goes up, dude. Look at that. That was such a beautiful moment between two grown men. And maybe many of you don't know this, but grown men don't talk or look at each other in the bathroom. He is breaking boundaries. He is breaking down walls and creating a better future. He might be doing it while taking pictures of his dick in the bathroom, in a public restroom. But it, you know what? Judge a man, not by his methods, but by his results. That's what I say. Another thing I gotta say is that he seems to have a positive impact on some people that follow him. I think it's anybody that radiates that much confidence and truly is like marching to the beat of their own drum, even if it's kind of crazy, I think that that's actually inspiring to people. And he retweets some people that message him stuff like, bro, you really inspired me to ask out my crush. <laughs> Those types of tweets. And I do think some of them are real. I think some people look up to him, even though a lot of people are like, it's so laughable. He seems to be having a positive impact on some people. You know, a sexy Italian boy like me, <laughs> The most fucking drop dead gorgeous guy in this motherfucking state of Utah. If I can get any girl in the state, dead ass. <laughs> we are out of here. He's not even lying. You might watch him say he can get any girl. He's working his way through so many girls in Utah. You have no clue how many girls in this state have a six foot four orange stain on their bed sheets. Okay? Tied with bleach sales? are skyrocketing. Invest now. You know, I'll end the video with this. I don't think we've seen the end of Tony Johns because whether you love him or you hate him, you think he's trash or treasure, we live in America. And America is a terrifying yet beautiful and surprising place. And people like him thrive, okay? People with that much ambition and confidence, they can surprise you. You know, five years from now, you might see him. You might see that face on an episode of Dateline or Investigation Discovery, or maybe you'll see him running for political office of your town. He'll be your mayor. Isn't that wonderful? You know, that's how America is, you know? And it's not the first time an orange man has surprised us. Uh -oh. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we are body.